mean, this is why you love sports, right? Who would have thought on a Monday afternoon at SAP Center, the Sharks would be up 6-1 through 40 minutes, and Timo Meyer would be responsible for five goals. It's the first time in franchise history, 31 years, that a San Jose Shark has scored five in a game. Guess what? There's still 20 minutes left to play. Brody Brazil with Drew Remenda. I know you've been a part of this team since the inception, since the beginning. We'll look back on history. We know that a handful of players have reached four, including Owen Nolan, including Patrick Marlowe, including Tomas Hurdle, including, uh, who am I missing? Evander, Evander Kane. Evander Kane. Evander Kane. Evander yeah. Kane in there. And obviously Meyer hit the four today, Drew, but he gets to five, something that's never been done before. What's the magnitude of this? I don't know. I, I really don't. Like, I mean, this, for the individual himself, obviously what the Sharks have been looking for for Timo Meyer is to take that next step, right? That's what we all thought. When's he going to be able to take that next step and be that goal scorer, that power forward. Bob Bugner told us the other day about Timo Meyer, how he had to change his game defensively in order to be good offensively. It's paying off. That little play right there, that toe drag snap, that is a thing of absolute beauty. So when I look at this, I don't know what it means. It means for the San Jose Sharks that you may just very well have a bona fide power forward back in your lineup and a guy that's really feeling it this season. What it does for the organization, uh, I just thought it was a beautiful call by Randy. He did a great job of yeah. setting up and framing that. It is history, and you can never turn your nose up at history, especially on Martin Luther King Jr. Day. So let's talk about the Sharks prior two games through one goal in six periods today six goals in two periods but but wait a second the sharks got outshot 15 to 4 in that yeah. period right now in this game they're getting outshot 30 to 12. one of my favorite movies is unforgiven the great clint eastwood movie when he says near the end deserves got nothing to do with it and it really doesn't when you look at hockey sometimes you deserve to win and you don't sometimes the the other team should be up on you and they're not it has been all in the sharks zone Something we saw in the first period, the second period. Sharks took penalties in that period. They killed it off. And then when they get the opportunity, twice, Timo Meyer ends up putting the puck in the net. Sometimes it's shoot it where they ain't. And so far tonight, today, darn it, I owe you a dollar. Timo Meyer <laughs> has been able to do that. And it's a, it's a funny game that way. It's yeah. random chaos hockey. There's sometimes there's no rhyme or reason where you look back and think, well, wait a second. Well, they... Definitely, they should be they should be losing this game. No, they're not because the individual effort by Timo Meyer. But as we talked about at the start, Brody, other things and other players get involved in. Tomas Hurdle's got four points going today. Yeah. Um, you also had Balzer skating off the puck really well. You have everybody contributing to the success that Timo was having this afternoon. And I think that's important too, right? You had your Taco Bell keys to the game. The first one was to stick with it. Stick to it. They've, yep. they've seemed like they've done that. So, so now what do they do here in the third period? They're up by five goals, Drew. It does seem like, hey, keep the team involved, even though it's been Timo's afternoon. I'll go back to what you, you asked a great question, the same question Randy asked at the end of the first period. If you're Bob Bugner, what do you do? Because right. you, don't, you don't want to spend time in your zone, right? right. You're, you're done spending time in your zone. Let's, let's make sure we're better in our own zone, getting pucks out. Let's make sure we're supporting the puck. You talk about all those things, but it's a, it's a gentle suggestion. The other thing would be let's stay out of the penalty box. Let's not give the LA Kings any opportunity to get back in this game. That's the one thing you'll really be trying to preach to the guys. Let's make sure that you have the control of the game in this third period. And let's give James Reimer in net, who's been brilliant, a little bit of a break. We signed off first intermission by saying it wouldn't be surprising if Timo got a fourth or a fifth. He's done that. Uh, dare I say, a second hat trick on the day could be in order for number 28.